now we will solve one question which is based on the cylindrical surface the question is draw the orthographic projection of a cylindrical surface having diameter 50 and height 70 so a cylinder is given with base diameter 50 upper diameter again 50 and the height is 70 now i have drawn the view for a cylinder now when we draw the orthographic projection of a cylinder then what we will see like i have discussed about the identification of surface levels inclined surface but what will happen if a cylindrical object is there now i am taking one example just to explain the same let's say this cylindrical object is there or let's say cylinder is there it is just placed like this now direction is given for front view this side now here no direction is given either this will be the front view or this will be the front view if this is the front view this will become the side view as we have discussed in all the previous questions so it means side is not given you can take any side let's say i have taken this side as front view now the object is placed like this now this side is given as the front view as we solve all other questions what i have told you just imagine that the direction given as front view that portion is parallel to your eyes okay so i will make it parallel to your eyes now this is parallel to your eyes now in this case your eyes cannot see this curvature this is the calculation of your mind that it is a curved object you your eyes cannot see this curvature what your eyes can see are rectangle only just concentrate on the view what your eyes can see what your eyes can see are rectangle only so what will be the front view of this a rectangle and what will be the side of this rectangle it will be equal to the diameter so it is given here 50 so this will be 50 what will be the height same height of the cylinder that is 70 so it will be a rectangle of 50 by 70 as cylinder is 50 by 70 now to get the top view what i have told you just move on this side or you just rotate from the given direction this was front view rotate the object in that side when i rotate now this is the view which you can see again what you can see now your eyes can see only a circle so what will be the top view of a cylinder a circle only circle of diameter whatever the diameter of cylinder is given and what will be the side view again move it to the front view what will be the side view means if this is the front view side view will be this or this so that will be again what the same rectangle of front view size so this is the case how we solve orthographic projection of a cylinder now we will solve this question i think now it is very easy to solve this what we have to do what we have done in other questions same same procedure we will follow first we will draw the orthographic axis take care about the dimensions now i need a space 70 here okay this will be 70 if i take in two bit point then i need 50 okay my solution will come in this space so i will start here i'm making the orthographic axis so this is x y line reference line as you have drawn in all the solutions this is what vp as i'm making the diagram in first quadrant if it is a question in third quadrant the same top view it will be above xy the front view which will draw that will be below xy this is the only difference now we will start with the top view so top view is a circle of 50 diameter so 50 diameter means we will take the radius that is 25 so i open the compass equal to radius 25 now i will draw the circle always remember whatever the diameter is there take the half of diameter radius and open the compass equal to radius now we will make the circle of 25 when you use compass now just try to take your pencil should be less than the compass so that shorter pencil is good for your compass okay and when you will put pencil in your compass at initial at zero means at zero position your pencil and tip of the compass that should be on the same level you can check in this way they, they should be on the same level only then you will get the correct circle after that when you draw the circle never put force on the pencil okay i am taking this point now never put force on the pencil always put force just hold it from here from this hold it from here i'll show you hold it from here and just to rotate it like this okay never never put force on the pencil i'll show you like this 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 leg it should be vertically straight it should be rotated so do not put force in this leg in this leg only put force in this leg then this is the correct way of making the circle you will never have variation in the darkness of circle now 
we need a circle of same darkness so this is the correct way of making this so we have drawn the top view now we will make the front view we know that whenever we have drawn the circle we need to draw the center line one long one short line passing through the center so this is the diameter same i have to make the vertical center axis i can take it above one long one short continuous chain same size of big line same size of small line right now after that so we will do from this point exactly vertical so first of all a projection line then 2 mm gap why always we give gap between front view and top view i have not given so much gap here i need to give 2 cm gap here or 2 grid point gap between front view and 2 here i was not having space so that is why i manage it otherwise you have to give 2 grid point gap above x y 2 for below x y just for the symmetry purpose so up to this i will get the projection line from here also you can do in reverse also just for draw the front view first then top view but if you draw the top view of a circle then it will be easy because it will be difficult to join a cylinder with a rectangle okay, you can uh, get to know with experience so i always prefer when a cylind cylindrical object is there start with the top view now this is the base so i can make it dark front view after that we have to draw the height of the cylinder that is given 70 so I'll make exactly 70 I can make it dark line thin line dark line this was the projection line that was light like this now we have to join them at the top like this so this is the front view of a cylinder as i have told you this is the front view when i rotate this is the top view now we will do the dimensioning now there are various methods to give the dimension to the circle i have told you with the, the diameter method like a linear line or from inside so this is a big enough diameter i can use this type of method just draw the dimension line inside then take it out and bend from leader line and then draw the arrowheads inside i prefer this method you can use any one so this is the diameter this is the top view i have to write below the diagram so space is less so i'm writing here otherwise always below the diagram so this is the front view and top view of a cylinder